Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the four early signs he desires getting to know you. Or is it four or is it four? <laughs> Those four early signs. All right, uh, real quickly, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button below and hit that bell so you can get notified of uh, all my videos. I try to shoot two to three a week for you. All right, let's talk about those four <laughs> early signs, or is it four, uh, that he desires getting to know you. Okay, the first sign is when you're actually talking to a man, it's a first, second, or third date, and he begins asking you value-based questions, values-based questions, values, okay? He wants to get to know your values. Now, I believe if you Google, there's, there's either 400 values or 100 values. I mean, just go Google list of values. But we all have values that are important to us. So for some people, health, is a really important value. I know here living in Southern California, half the people are either a vegan or vegetarian or something like that, but that actually talks to their value around health. And that includes maybe smoking or drinking or that sort of thing. So they're asking you questions based on your values. Now, I think politics and religion, I, I've been told are taboo conversations. I've been told, I think they're great conversations to have because when you get a sense of someone's politics or their religion, you get a sense of their values. And everybody's worried about talking about politics or um, religion, especially politics these days, because there's so much divide. But yet when you find out that you're in alignment in these areas, you actually means that you share the same value. So a man who asks you value-based questions is actually a great sign that he's interested in getting to know you. So that's number one. Number two is he's not leading with lust. He's not leading with sex. It's not, you know, how quickly can he get you in the bedroom? A man who genuinely desires to get to know you is learned to pace himself. That high quality guy knows how to pace himself. And while we might be inside wanting to jump your bones <laughs> in the early stages, we've learned how to temper ourselves. We're not leading with sex. We're not leading with the bedroom and that sort of thing. And while my, there might be some flirtation going on, you certainly can tell the difference between the guys who are, well, certainly you can tell about the guys who do dick pics and stuff like that, but they're actually trying to push you into the bedroom. Not physically, but I'm talking literally. So that's a sign that a guy may not want to get to know you as deeply as the guy that's a little bit more reserved. Now, the other, the, another factor is that the man's life isn't in chaos. He's not coming out of a divorce. He's not going through some tr you know, dramatic stuff at work. The, his life has a pretty solid foundation. And why that's so critically important is because when a man's life has a fairly solid ground, it allows him to build, 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 build a relationship. And so a man is ready for a relationship when he has at least some solid ground. These days, most men are, are dating and the ground underneath them are quicksand. They're going through emotional issues with an ex-spouse or they've got issues with their kids or they've got issues with work. And when I say the word issues, I'm talking about real deep issues, okay? Um, Hence why we've got to ask a lot of good questions, <laughs> ask really good questions, so you can find out. You've got to ask these questions too, because you've got to find out if the ground underneath him is pretty solid. Because if it's not, if it's chaos, it's, I, and listen, ladies, I know you guys focus, you late guys, I'm sorry to say guys, I know you ladies might think about the potential, but he's got potential. Let me tell you something, when the ground underneath them isn't solid, imagine building a house on a sinkhole. All it takes is just one little blip and the whole thing falls apart. So now we all have stuff in our lives. I'm not talking about the tiny little things. I'm talking about you can tell the ground underneath that person is in chaos. Um, and certainly for those in midlife, usually the big root of that is centered around an ex you know, a, a divorce or money issues or health issues, okay? 
So the ground is solid. And that fourth sign, he really desires getting to know you, is that his life isn't chaotically busy either. You know, he makes room, he makes time to get on the phone with you and talk to you. And listen, we all have busy lives. Look, my, my day was shot today. I worked solid, you know, from the first thing this morning till, you know, this afternoon when I'm shooting videos. And there was a woman I was um, talking to the day before and I haven't been able to reach out to her. But that's because I'm, you know, I am busy, but I'm saying that their life isn't constantly busy and they make room for you once a week or once a month or, you know, once every three days, that sort of thing. They actually make time to want to talk to you on the phone. They make time to actually see you in person. That is kind of the signs. These are just four. I mean, there's way more than that, but I just want to give you a heads up to pay attention to these four critical signs because this gives you insight into at least whether or not you want to invest in a guy or you want to just say, hey, let me just play it cool and see how he shows up. <sighs> wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Those four early signs. Um, I hope you found value in this. I really do. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments. Please post a question. If you have a question of me, write it down. I read everything. I do my best to respond when I can. Uh, if you have a comment, please add that as well. And um, if you've been thinking about private coaching, but you go, God, I can't really afford it, then check out my VIP group called Midlife Love Mastery. The link is below. And check out my book, what the heck is self-love anyway? The link is there below. And don't forget my podcast, the What Would Love Do podcast. You can check that out. Uh, I uh, shoot a podcast once a week focusing on what would love do. In other words, when you're suffering, when you've got an issue, when you've got distress in your life, operating from asking yourself what would love do or how would love respond. Ah. All right, we're going to wrap up this video as I always do. I'm going to give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to ask you to give yourself a big hug. I want you to find someone else and give them a hug right now. And I'm going to wish you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.